the Prophet Islam said, and I quote, when you sit following every two rakahs, and then say that the shahud, at wa salawat at and so on and so forth, then choose any supplication that you like and call Allah the Almighty with it, end quote. Sheikh Albani writes under this authentic hadith in his commentary, and I quote, this hadith shows a tremendous benefit, and it is the permissibility of supplicating after the first tashahud. And I did not find any other imams other than Ibn Hazm who had this viewpoint, and he was correct. So what is apparent is that it is permissible to supplicate in every tashahud, even if followed by saying salam, end quote. Sheikh, um, based on this authentic evidence, what I wanted to ask you was, would it be considered bid'ah or an innovation if I were to make a supplication after the first tashahud and all my obligatory and optional and sunnah prayers? Jazakallah khair. Wa jazakum. First of all, the hadith is crystal clear, but it does not indicate whether this is the first tashahud or the second tashahud. So those who said it is in any tashahud, as you've quoted about Sheikh al-Albani and Imam ibn Hazm, they have an evidence. However, if you look at the other evidences, you will find that the Prophet والسلام, used to offer a tahiyyat in the first tashahud, and he was very quick in it, as per the hadith of Wail ibn Hujr, may Allah be pleased with him and others. So he used to immediately stand up without giving any time for dua or taking his time in it. So the first tashahud by nature, by sunnah, is very prompt and quick, which indicates that there was no time for dua. Alongside the issue that the vast majority of scholars state that this hadith is particularly referring to the last tashahud which is followed by salam. So it's not the first tashahud, rather it's the last tashahud. And I've asked some of the major scholars about this and they stated what I just did. Therefore, if a person is on his own, I would say that it is not recommended to do it and he should delay it until the last tashahud. If he's praying, behind an imam and the imam takes his time in the first tashahud, then he may uh, um, uh, supplicate and make dua according to this hadith rather than sitting there idle doing nothing. But if he's on his own, then it's best to be with the majority of the scholars and delay it to the last tashahud and Allah Azza wa knows best.